everybody, it's Mr. B again. I'm gonna do another video for you today. Thought since it's such a beautiful day, if we could go out and take a little bit of a walk and maybe collect a few things that we can uh, work on today. Uh, this is a fun one, it works for any age level. Uh, I found that we do this with uh, my mom and the kids get really into it and so does she. So it's kind of a fun one. We may have done it before, but it's a nice way to help spend some time together and to help beautify the neighborhood at the same time. All right, with something that you can just find laying around. So what we're gonna do is at some point, I'm gonna go for a walk, okay? But right now, I'm gonna show you <clears throat> what I found when I went on a walk. So I found some rocks, a couple different size ones. And even a bigger one, okay? Now these rocks could be in the woods behind your house, they could be in your garden, um, but if you're gonna take some from somebody else's house, <clears throat> make sure that you know that they would be okay with it, or if you find one in somebody else's garden, make sure they would be okay with it before you take it. Probably ask mom or dad about that, all right? Okay, so we're gonna take those rocks and we are going to add paint to them. And there's a lot of different kind of paints we can use. Um, we can use these kind of acrylic paints, sometimes we use these at school. Here's a different brand. Okay. We can use spray paint, especially for the first coat, if you want to paint it white or silver or something. Uh, spray paint it. I'll talk about spray paint in a few minutes. And you could use uh, even like in your garage, if you painted your bedroom this year or a bathroom, you could have some extra house paints. That works fine too. Watercolors aren't gonna work as well for this one because they'll just wash right off. But these kind of paints will stay on there and usually when they're finished, they're pretty strong. Now, if you're gonna use a spray paint, when you spray paint it, you're gonna wanna get, I got it right here. Something like a cardboard box like this one, okay? And then you can sit your rocks in the cardboard box when you spray paint them. That way the overspray, that's the stuff that shoots past the rock, only gets inside the cardboard box. And pop open the lid, shake the can for about 30 seconds. And when you spray, you're gonna spray about that far away. It says about 12 inches on the uh, directions, but you can get about eight to 10. If you get too close, you'll get drips on your um, rock or whatever you're painting, and you want to do passes like shh, 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 instead of holding it down shh, the whole time, because if you hold it down, you're going to get up a couple spots to get more paint than others. Okay. Spray paint doesn't really take too long to dry, so when you're using the spray paint, you could probably come back in about 15, 20 minutes and put a second coat on it, or turn it over and do the other side, because these could be double-sided, definitely. All right. I'm gonna show you some examples of ones that we had done before. Here's one, just painted the back simple and black because we kind of thought it looked cool, but then on the front, just painted the word smile. So if you're walking down the street and you see that sitting in somebody's garden, it might actually make you smile. So that's one idea. This one is double-sided. It's got some cool color designs on it. It's got some reds, some blues, some greens, some pinks. All, it, all the colors in the rainbow are right there. And then on the other side, it's like blue with a bunch of little flowers on it, okay? This one actually was in the garden. It's a little bit dirty. Speaking of which, when you do yours, the first thing you want to do when you get home is you want to wash these off. If there's dust or dirt on them and you paint over it, that'll probably chip off. You're going to need probably a few different size brushes, okay? You might want to use the big brush to paint whole rock if you're not using spray paint and then you might want to use the little tiny brush to do any detail work that you have when you're painting your rocks. I brought out these three but any size paintbrush you'll have will work. If you're trying to do details, this one was done with a brush. I'll see if you hear. I'll get a little bit closer to you. This one was done with a brush and you can see the lines aren't perfect. That's okay. All right. 
as long as you're having fun and you think it looks cool when you're done, this one was done with a brush too, and you can see that they used the tip of the brush to make the flower petals, okay? So, one trick that I have, and I'm not sure if you guys have these at home, is after you do the painting, this one was actually painted with a paintbrush too, it's a pretty good job, you can use paint pens. If you have any paint pens at home, these are great pens, they are filled with paint, you shake them up just like a spray paint can, open them up, and then you press the tip, and it gets the paint into the tip, and then you can write with these just like it's a pen, okay, or a pencil. And so you can get a little bit more detail if you want to use paint pens, but I'm not sure if everybody has paint pens at home. You're probably gonna need this, paper towels, okay, in case you make a little bit of a mess or spill. And even if you're working inside, if you're working with spray paint, you're gonna to wanna to do that outside because you're gonna need some fresh air, you're gonna get a headache. So I would say take the spray paint and the cardboard outside if you're gonna do some spray paint work. But if you're gonna work inside, you're still gonna to wanna to put something on the table so that you don't make a mess. Uh, you wouldn't wanna get the dining room table or the kitchen table uh, paint all over it, okay? So let's keep that in mind. So make sure you have your paper towels handy just in case. A cup of water just in case you wanna change colors and you don't have enough brushes for each color, then you can rinse out your brush, dry it off on a paper towel and get some new stuff. Now most of these paints are opaque paints. Acrylic paints are opaque paints, spray paints are opaque. That means that when you, and house paints are opaque. That means when you paint it, you won't be able to see through it. So it's good for doing layers. Like maybe, like I said, you do a white layer and then you put some black paint over it and you'll be able to see it, it'll stand out. Last thing I wanna say is when you're finished, if you have this, this is a clear coat spray paint. This one is matte finish. That means it'll look just like this as long as your paints aren't shiny. But you can get uh, clear coat spray paint in glossy or semi-gloss finish, which will make your rock a little bit shinier. If you put this on at the end, it'll last three, four times as long as it would normally. And they're gonna last a long time anyways, but this will make them last for as long as they're probably outside, or at least 10 years or so like that. This is a good protectant for the rocks. Um, so I think I'm gonna choose this one. I like this one. And I'm probably gonna paint mine with um, probably with the white spray paint to get it started. That way, when I go over top of it, all my colors that I paint over with once it's dry will probably be a little bit brighter and it'll be a little more visible from the street. Uh, you could do anything. This one's big enough to write something on. If you were in the mood to write something on it, you could do that. And then, um, you know what I'm saying. If you wanted to write something, you could write anything. That one says smile. You could write love. You could, whoa, ninja. You used your special ninja skills to sneak up on me. Ninja, what, you wanna do a rock too? Ninja, I got a couple extra ones. You wanna pick one? You want this little one? No? You kinda of like the big one. You wanna do the big rock? Are you gonna do a cool design like this one? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with white, and then I'm gonna paint some cool designs on it. What are you gonna do? You wanna write a word on it? You wanna write the word fight? Ninja, you wanna fight again? Please, Ninja, no. We're having a great art. Oh, friend. You wanna write friend on it? Ninja wants to write friend. How nice, Ninja. I think this is gonna be a good project for us. First thing we're gonna do, Ninja, is we gotta go in and wash these rocks because I forgot to wash them. Then we probably gotta put on some art clothes because I don't wanna get this shirt dirty. I already got a little bit of paint on these pants, but you don't wanna get paint all over your Ninja suit. We're gonna have to get you an art shirt to put on so you don't get dirty, okay? That's a good suggestion for you guys too. Put on an art shirt, especially if you tend to get a little messy like Mr. B. Uh, that way your good clothes won't get ruined. Okay, well, I hope that gives you something fun to do today. Ninja and I are gonna go in and paint, or wash these rocks, and then we're probably gonna get started. I'm gonna come back out and spray paint mine white, and while it dries, I'll help Ninja get started on his. We'll put a little uh, piece of paper on the table so we don't make a mess and we can have a good time. So I hope you have fun with this. I would love to see the rocks that you make. Uh, this one is kind of addictive, and once you start, you kind of don't wanna stop. So uh, do as many rocks as you want and go Put them around the neighborhood and beautify the place up. All right, I appreciate you guys helping me today. And uh, hopefully we'll have another video for you tomorrow.
And for Ninja, who's gonna paint a rock, for myself, who's gonna go paint some rocks, it's very nice to see you again. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. All right, thank you.